hello everyone once again welcome to pm networking guys today in this video we are going to understand how to add and remove vlans from trunk link so here you can see between switch 1 and switch 2 we have one link so this one is my trunk link i will configure this link as trunk after that we will discuss how to configure encapsulation protocol that as you know there are two types of encapsulation protocol that we can run on trunk link this encapsulation protocol means the protocol which you will use to perform tagging on trunk link so as you know on trunk link whenever switch will send traffic before sending traffic switch need to perform tagging right what i am saying that whenever a switch will send traffic on trunk link so before transmitting on trunk link first of all switch will add tag right with actual data with actual traffic and whenever switch will receive any traffic on trunk link first of all switch will remove tagging right so tagging will happen automatically on trunk link so definitely there will be a protocol right which is running so we have two types of protocol first one is dot one q and second one is isl isl so first of all we will discuss how to configure dot one q or isl protocol for encapsulation protocol on trunk link then we will discuss how to add or remove vlans from trunk link so as you know by default all vlans are allowed on trunk link so if you want to uh, remove some vlans from trunk link you can do that right so that uh, configuration we are going to discuss in this video so my scenario is guys here you can see two pcr two pcs are connected with switch one and two pcs are connected with switch two pc number one is connected with switch one and this port is member of vlan 10 right that means pc one belongs to vlan 1 pc2 belongs to vlan sorry 20 so this one is vlan 10 and this one will be vlan 20 let me edit it it's wrong here guys okay just just, just let me say 20 over here 20 vlan 20 and this is also vlan 20 okay so pc number 3 belongs to vlan 20 okay now everything is fine so this pc is member of vlan 10 this pc is member of vlan 20 in the same way this pc which is connected to switch 2 is member of vlan 10 and this pc is member of vlan 20 so by default right by default vlan 10 pc cannot communicate with the other pc uh, which belongs to same vlan because here now by default as you know this link is access link these two ports are access port so first of all we need to configure trunk over here or what you can do you can make member uh, to this port to vlan 10 then vlan 20 user cannot communicate through this link right then we need to add one separate link for vlan 20 okay so that's why we will configure trunking between switch 1 and switch 2 trunking means uh, actually we need to configure trunking whenever you want to send traffic of multiple vlans or you can say traffic of all vlans through a single link right so there are two types of access port first one is access port and second one is trunk port so this port can be access port and this port can be your trunk port when this port is access port that time this port can carry traffic for a single vlan only right maybe for vlan 10 20 31 but whenever we, you will configure this port as trunk port that means this port can carry traffic of multiple vlan so as you know we need to perform tagging on trunk link okay because then only this machine can understand that i am receiving a traffic of which vlan S see guys when this pc will generate one traffic for this machine right as you can see both machine belongs to same vlan right so both machines are member of which vlan vlan 10 so if switch 1 will not perform tagging right then how switch 2 will came to know that this is traffic of vlan 10 okay that's why this switch need to perform tagging so first of all i am going to show you how to 
configure encapsulation protocol so guys see i have already configured ip address on machines right and as you can see by default by default pc1 is able to ping pc4 which is in same vlan and pc1 cannot communicate to 20.1 right which is member of vlan 20 okay so you see fine now i am going to configure trunk okay and before configuring trunk let me configure vlan on switches on both switches so go to switch one and here i am going to configure two vlan i'm going to create two vlan vlan 10 suppose name is ccna after that vlan 20 suppose name of this vlan is uh, ccnp just suppose you can configure any name okay after that interface e 0 slash 1 which is connected with pc1 i am going to configure this port as access port for which vlan for vlan 10 so switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 10 right then interface ethernet 0 slash 2 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 20 okay let me configure switch 2 as well enable config t vlan 10 uh, after that name ccna then vlan 20 and say name age ccnp exit interface e 0 slash 1 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 10 exit interface e 0 slash 2 switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 20 now you can see pc1 cannot communicate to pc4 now this pc cannot ping to 10.2 right to pc4 see because link between switch 1 and switch 2 is access link right ports of both uh, ports of uh, switch 1 and switch 2 is access port i'm talking about this port right and by default this port is member of which vlan vlan 1 how you can verify you can verify by running this command so vlan brief if you will run this command so see here 0 slash 0 is member of default vlan vlan 1 this port is member of vlan 10 name of vlan 10 is ccna this port is member of vlan 20 so here i am going to configure trunk so guys config t after that interface e 0 slash 0 switch port mode trunk after that see here guys command is rejected an interface whose trunk encapsulation is auto can not be configured to trunk link so first of all we need to configure encapsulation protocol so switch port command to configure encapsulation protocol is switch port trunk encapsulation and then you can see we have both protocols here dot one q and isl so here suppose i am going to configure dot one q okay then switch port mode trunk no problem right in real time also you will configure like this in packet tracer you don't need to run this command right but in real time you need to run this command as well okay then i am going to configure trunk on switch 2 as well so interface e 0 slash 0 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q after that switch port mode trunk right now you can see pc1 can communicate see right so now pc1 which is member of vlan 10 is able to communicate to all pc which is member of same vlan vlan 10 right and here from pc2 also you can see pc number 2 is able to ping pc number 3 because both are member of same vlan ping 
192.168.20.20.2 right see i am able to ping so guys now i am going to exclude vlan 20 i am going to remove vlan 20 from the trunk link what i want that this trunk link should not carry traffic of vlan 20 so here go to switch one after that let me maximize it guys switch port and if you will put question mark over here see switch port access right dot one q mode uh either want you want to configure uh, sorry uh, mode access or trunk so this this is how you can configure up to that trunk protected so here switch port trunk and then allowed here you can see allowed vlan so if you want to allow a particular vlan on this trunk link you can use this command allowed after that vlan then again put question mark and see guys here remove i want to remove which vlan which vlan vlan 20 and name of that vlan is what you can say vlan 20 as well here right like this so now if you will run so interface trunk command over here so see this port is your trunk port right and encapsulation protocol is dot one q now status is definitely trunking native vlan is vlan one okay now port e0 slash 0 a lot vlan vlan 1 to 19 and 21 to 4094 that means vlan 20 is not allowed on this port now right and how many ports are active and this port is active for how many vlan so this port is now active for vlan 1 and for vlan 10 because vlan 1 is my native vlan okay so now vlan 20 user cannot communicate through this trunk link let me show you let me ping again to this user see now i am not able to ping so guys my question is what will happen if i will configure native vlan vlan 20 on this switch see interface e 0 slash 0 switch port trunk up to that native vlan is 20 i am saying native vlan is 20 in the same way let me configure vlan 20 as native vlan over here also switch port trunk native vlan 20 fine and now now on switch one if you will run this command where is switch one so here it switch one if now you will run so interface interface trunk command over here so now you can see still native vlan is vlan 20 but vlan 20 is not allowed so that's why you can see a lot vlan and active in management domain is vlan 1 and vlan 10 only so still vlan 20 cannot communicate okay now let me show you how to allow vlan 20 again right this is how you can remove a particular vlan from trunk link and now i am going to add a particular vlan on trunk link so if someone have configured uh, uh, someone have removed vlan 20 from trunk link and you need to add vlan 20 on trunk link so this is how you will add so go to interface 0 slash 0 then switch port trunk again allow and this time add this time here you can see vlan after that now this time i am going to add so add which vlan i am going to add vlan 20 so now if you will run so interface trunk command over here so see guys now vlan 20 is allowed so vlan allowed is from 1 to 4 0 nine four so now again vlan 20 user can communicate okay so this one is very basic things right see just wait for some time it will ping 
so it's not pinging can anyone explain why it's not pinging yes now you can see it's pinging right so okay definitely it will ping if it will not ping then we need to do troubleshoot right so it's pinging no need to do troubleshoot if it will not ping then definitely i will uh, do troubleshoot as well okay so that's all this is very basic things how you can remove and add particular vlans on trunk link if you like this video please hit on like button guys if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye thanks for watching